This video is inspired by the teachings of Barbara O'Neill. Today, we're addressing a topic that many men experience but few feel comfortable discussing openly, ejaculation without semen. If you're over 50 and have noticed changes in your ejaculation, you're not alone. This condition, while concerning, is actually more common than you might think. In the next few minutes, I'm going to explain exactly what's happening in your body, why it occurs, and most importantly, what you can do about it. As a healthcare professional, I've helped numerous men understand and manage this condition. And today, I'll share that knowledge with you in clear, straightforward terms. Let's start with what's actually happening in your body. When you experience ejaculation without visible semen, it's typically one of two conditions, retrograde ejaculation or dry orgasm. In retrograde ejaculation, semen flows backward into your bladder instead of out through the penis during orgasm. Think of it like a river changing its course. The semen is still produced, but it's taking a different path. This isn't harmful to your health, though it might be concerning when you first notice it. The other condition, dry orgasm, occurs when your body produces little to no semen while still experiencing the pleasure of orgasm. It's important to understand that orgasm and ejaculation are actually two separate processes in your body and you can have one without the other. This is particularly common as men age, especially after age 50, when natural changes in the body can affect semen production. What makes this topic particularly relevant is that these changes can happen gradually or suddenly depending on the underlying cause. Your body's reproductive system is like a complex orchestra. As you age, some instruments might play differently, but the symphony can still continue. The key is understanding what's normal aging versus what might need medical attention. Let's dive into why this happens, because understanding the causes is crucial for managing your health effectively. The most common reason for ejaculation without semen, particularly in men over 50, is related to medication side effects. If you're taking medications for blood pressure, enlarged prostate or depression, these could be affecting your ejaculation. Specifically, alpha blockers and certain antidepressants are known to influence this process. Think of these medications like a traffic controller. They're doing their important job, but sometimes they redirect other bodily functions too. Prostate-related procedures are another significant cause. If you've had prostate surgery, whether for cancer treatment or BPH, benign prostatic hyperplasia, changes in ejaculation are very common. During these procedures, the normal pathways for semen can be altered, leading to retrograde ejaculation. It's like renovating a house. Sometimes you need to redirect the plumbing, which changes the flow of water. Age-related changes in your body also play a crucial role. As you get older, your body naturally produces less testosterone, which can affect both semen production and ejaculation strength. Additionally, the muscles involved in ejaculation may weaken over time, similar to how other muscles in your body change with age. This is a normal part of aging, though the timing and extent vary from person to person. Medical conditions, particularly diabetes, can also impact ejaculation. High blood sugar levels can damage nerves and blood vessels over time, affecting the complex process of ejaculation. Think of it like a sophisticated electrical system. If the wiring gets compromised, the signals don't transmit as effectively. Now, let's talk about how this condition affects your overall health and daily life, because understanding these impacts helps you make informed decisions about your well-being. First and foremost, let me reassure you, Ejaculation without semen doesn't pose a direct health risk. Your body continues to produce sperm and hormones, and the change in ejaculation doesn't affect your overall physical health. However, it can significantly impact various aspects of your life that deserve attention. The most immediate impact is often psychological. Many men report feeling confused or concerned when they first notice this change. It's completely natural to worry about your sexual function and what these changes mean for your masculinity. 
Some men experience anxiety about their performance or feel less confident in intimate situations. Remember, these feelings are valid, but they shouldn't overshadow the fact that this condition is manageable and doesn't define your manhood or sexual capability. For couples trying to conceive, retrograde ejaculation can present fertility challenges. While sperm is still being produced, it's not being delivered in the conventional way. However, this doesn't necessarily mean the end of fertility options. Modern reproductive medicine offers several solutions, and many men have successfully conceived with medical assistance. The impact on intimate relationships is another important consideration. Open communication with your partner becomes crucial during this time. Many couples report that understanding this condition together actually strengthens their relationship, leading to deeper emotional intimacy. Sexual satisfaction can still be maintained as the ability to experience pleasure and orgasm remains intact. It's like learning to appreciate a different aspect of intimacy one that focuses more on the overall experience rather than just the physical aspects. Let's discuss when you should consult a healthcare professional because knowing the right time to seek help is crucial for managing this condition effectively. While ejaculation without semen is often a natural occurrence, certain situations warrant medical attention. If you notice a sudden change in your ejaculation pattern, especially if it's accompanied by pain or discomfort, this requires immediate medical evaluation. Think of it like a check engine light in your car. It's better to have it checked early than wait for a bigger problem to develop. The diagnostic process is straightforward and shouldn't cause anxiety. Your healthcare provider will typically start with a detailed medical history, focusing on your symptoms, current medications, and any recent surgeries or health changes. They might perform a simple urine test after ejaculation to confirm retrograde ejaculation. In some cases, they may recommend additional tests to rule out underlying conditions or assess hormone levels. This comprehensive approach helps determine the exact cause and guides treatment options. Speaking of treatment options, they vary depending on the underlying cause. If medication is causing the issue, your doctor might adjust your dosage or switch to an alternative drug. For cases related to nerve damage or muscle weakness, Specific medications can help strengthen muscle tone around the bladder neck. When the cause is prostate-related, your urologist might recommend treatments that help manage both the prostate condition and ejaculation changes. It's particularly important to seek medical advice if you're planning to father children. A fertility specialist can provide options like sperm retrieval from urine or other assisted reproductive techniques. Remember, Many men have successfully navigated this challenge with proper medical guidance. Your healthcare provider isn't just treating a condition. They're helping you maintain your quality of life and achieve your personal goals. Now, let's focus on practical strategies you can implement in your daily life to manage this condition effectively. First, lifestyle modifications can make a significant difference. Regular exercise, particularly pelvic floor exercises, can help strengthen the muscles involved in ejaculation. Think of these muscles like any other in your body. With proper training, they can maintain or improve their function. A physical therapist specializing in men's health can guide you through specific exercises tailored to your needs. Maintaining overall health is equally important. A balanced diet rich in antioxidants and essential nutrients supports reproductive health. Stay well hydrated and consider reducing alcohol and caffeine intake as these can affect bladder function. If you're a smoker, this might be another good reason to quit, as smoking can impact nerve function and blood flow throughout your body, including the reproductive system. Medication management is crucial. Keep a detailed list of your medications and their side effects. During medical appointments, don't hesitate to discuss alternative medications that might have less impact on ejaculation. Sometimes simple timing adjustments in when you take certain medications can help minimize their effects on sexual function. For those in relationships, developing new approaches to intimacy becomes essential. Focus on the entire experience of physical closeness rather than just the end result. Many couples report that this shift in perspective actually enhances their intimate connection. Open communication with your partner about your experiences and feelings 
helps maintain emotional closeness and mutual understanding. Remember, intimacy encompasses much more than just the physical aspects of sex. Stress management plays a vital role too. Anxiety about this condition can create a cycle of stress that impacts sexual performance. Consider relaxation techniques like deep breathing or meditation before intimate moments. Some men find that working with a counselor or therapist who specializes in men's sexual health provides valuable emotional support and practical coping strategies. Moving on to the closing section. As we conclude this discussion, I want to emphasize that ejaculation without semen, while a significant change, doesn't define your masculinity or limit your capacity for a fulfilling intimate life. The key takeaway is that this condition is both common and manageable, especially with the right understanding and support. Whether it's caused by medication, age-related changes or other medical factors, there are always ways to adapt and maintain your quality of life. Remember, you're not alone in this experience. Many men over 50 face similar changes, and medical science continues to advance in understanding and treating these conditions. The most important step you can take is to stay proactive about your health. Don't hesitate to discuss these changes with your healthcare provider. They're there to help you navigate this journey with confidence and dignity. If you found this information helpful, consider sharing it with others who might benefit. Many men suffer in silence simply because they don't know these changes are normal and manageable. By being open about these topics, we help break down the stigma surrounding men's health issues. For those watching who are experiencing these changes, I encourage you to take action. Schedule that appointment with your healthcare provider, if you haven't already. Have that conversation with your partner. Take those first steps toward managing this condition effectively. Your sexual health is an important part of your overall well-being and you deserve to address it with the same attention you'd give to any other health concern. Thank you for taking the time to learn about this important aspect of men's health. Remember, knowledge is power, and understanding your body is the first step toward maintaining optimal health at any age.